is I'm going to put the hardener of our 2510 product, mix it in with this, this kit right here, and I'll mix that together with a uh, mixing paddle. Now, there's several ways that this can take place. You can mix it in a mixing paddle, or you can um, uh, put it on a mixing board, for example. Uh, and I'm presently wearing the only uh, safety requirements that this product needs, and that would be that you wear safety gloves of some sort, and that you'd uh, also be wearing safety glasses. And you can see this material is very thick. And because of its thickness and its viscosity, uh, this material has to be uh, elevated in heat. Uh, you would, uh, for example, uh, experience um, a thicker material like this, uh, much like molasses or peanut butter. Uh, the more heat you put into the product, the more the product will uh, reduce its thickness and ability to be sprayed, brushed, or rolled. Now this product we're uh, using here is called 2510. 2510 has been with our company for pretty much uh, the entire time. It was developed initially for water circulation lines, uh, developed for uh, wastewater treatment, uh, water conveyance. 2510 is uh, used throughout the power plant uh, in many variations. Um, because of its long recoat window, this product can be used as a primer if you're going to be doing a lot of repair uh, areas within your FGD system. So this product here comes in burgundy and in gray, and once thoroughly mixed, it is a 100% solids epoxy, and uh, as a result, uh, once it's uh, applied, it has the exact same thickness that you would apply it. In other words, if you put on 40 mils of this coating, you would have 40 mils thickness because there is no shrinkage. It's made of 100% solids epoxy. So Duramar's Lessons within the power plant really did start in the early part of the FGD first phase of scrubber systems. And it wasn't just how to make a material, but combustion engineering and Duramar spent a great deal of time in the early years uh, working with plant maintenance planners, uh, FGD, flue gas desulfurization system supervisors, in a quest to find out what works at your plant level? And I'll remind you, this is in 1968, and this is where the 100% solids epoxy coatings and putties and paste that we manufacture was developed. Uh, combustion engineering, and once again, would develop the system, uh, the process equipment, and then they, our job was to find out how much we can get life cycle out of it. And so 100% solids for them meant that their people that would apply this material were often not skilled painters. So very simple methods of, of uh, mixing the material had to be devised, as well as very simple application procedures. Uh, most of our materials can be sprayed, brushed, or rolled, but when you get into the putties and the pastes, what happens there, of course, is those materials uh, get into thicker viscosity. Even though you reduce the temperature by heat, the viscosity of that material is reduced, uh, if it gets cold, is thick. So if you're a maintenance planner or if you're a, or a maintenance supervisor within a plant, the 2510 here has its most common uses on concrete. It's a great product for secondary containment. Uh, the pH conditions that this product can reach are 200, 225 degrees Fahrenheit pH of 1.5 to 14. So we'd use this uh, as a finishing uh, product in penstocks. If you have a hydro plant, you'd be using it in penstocks and that type of thing. What I'll do now is I'll put a sample on a couple of boards and uh, remove the plastic sample board here we'll be doing. The first one will be 2510. And this product, as I mentioned, uh, I've got quite a bit mixed up here, so I'll have a little extra. Uh, it can be applied by brush, roll, or spray. It can be a trowel to, on if you need to fill in voids of a, of a uh, concrete surface. It has a 72-hour recoat window, so once it's uh, applied perhaps as a primer on a Friday afternoon, you can still get this product uh, back as a recoat on Monday. Uh, oftentimes we'll use this product uh, when we're repairing pumps 
when we're repairing uh, internal components where we need to blast the whole surface, then we have to prime it. And then once it's fully primed, we can start the rebuilding with the rebuilding materials, which we'll talk about later. Um, to, over to my shoulder here, we have what I call the pieces of eight. And that is the eight main products that uh, serve the power industry. 2510 is a product I'm mixing now. 4310 is another one. 2221 and 2131. These four are all lining materials. And I'll review each one, mixing it, and apply it just like I'm doing here. These four materials on the end are uh, all the repair pastes and putties. Now you can look at it in, a, in another way. Is these materials here are used by the plant maintenance to keep it operational. This is after the capital improvement project has gone through. Uh, you may find this happening in these four materials within a system that was specified by engineers that we'd worked out the specifications. But these four lining materials will come out as a capital improvement project. You might find it as your emission systems, your uh, scrubbers, you use it in your ducting. Uh, these materials are linings that oftentimes a contract will be uh, actively involved in. One of the nice things about 100% solids is the smooth coffee-like glaze finish uh, that the product uh, leaves. And um, as a rule of thumb, being that it's 100% solids, uh, all 100% solids products applied uh, has a 40 square, 40 square feet per gallon because it's, it's, uh, it is made of 100% solids product. So that's something to keep in mind when you're talking about cost and how much and how thick and how much I'll need to use it. When we apply this at uh, 40 mils, it's 40 square feet per gallon. You can see how easy this material uh, brushes on. Uh, some of the materials will trowel on. Some of the materials that will uh, can be put on with a plural component equipment, which we won't get into that today. The purpose of this is to help uh, visually uh, explain to uh, plant personnel the different types of products that can be used and mixed and maintained to maintain your plant reliability, keep it operational, your efficiency uh, within your scheduled time frames. So uh, what I have here is I have the uh, 2510 which is uh, much like a coffee cup finish and I'm going to um, stand this right here for the moment so we can let it uh, cure off a little bit and we'll get ready for the next uh, material.